All right, in this video, I'm going to show how I installed fence posts in existing concrete footings, and I'll actually reuse an old fence post. So here is the wobbly fence post. I've got temporarily got a fence mender on there. As you can see, when I grab hold of it, it wiggles and wobbles. What I'm going to do is first I need to take off that fence mender, get it out of the way, pull the fence post up, and then we're going to replace it, put a new one in. Make sure you stay tuned to the end though, where I give you some warnings about reusing old concrete footings. After I removed the fence mender, as you can see I removed the brackets on that side, when I lifted the fence up, look what happened. The rotten fence post just snapped right off. See it's all rotten on the bottom down there. And what we have here is the old concrete footing uh, that the rotten fence post snapped off in. So because that post snapped off, there's going to be a lot of that old rotten post still down in the hole. We need to get all of that out. To help you clear out the hole, you can use a garden shovel. A chisel can help you spear and break up the rotten wood that is still in the hole. Keep at it and just keep digging. It can be rewarding when you pull out big chunks like this. There was so much dirt at the top of this hole, I wasn't sure if there was actually even a concrete footing down there. But when I used my crowbar, I tapped down there, I can hear and see that it was actually concrete. Tools like garden shovels, chisels, and crowbars can help, but not to sound too self-deprecating, but it helps to have a skinny arm, because you are going to be sticking your hand down there and digging out a lot of dirt by hand. I believe one of the problems with this hole initially, and the reason the post rotted, was because there was inadequate drainage and inadequate gravel at the bottom of the hole. So I've dug my hole down deep, and I'm adding gravel to the bottom of the hole. Not only am I going to reuse the existing concrete footing, I'm going to use an old fence post. You see it's rotten on the bottom here, but if I cut that off, the rest of it's still good. So I'll take the good end and put it down into the hole. So you're taking the good end, the non-rotten end, and that is what's going to go down into the existing concrete footing. This particular fence post I'm reusing was from a different fence. The fence post that you put in, if it's an old different one, it needs to be taller than the fence post that it's replacing because I'm going to be cutting off the top rotten part. So after you get your fence post in the hole, stick your level up against it, make sure it's level, and then what you're going to have to do is start adding gravel or backfill around the bottom of the fence post. I added a bit of backfill at a time, then tamped it down. I didn't have anything fancy with me, a bit rock, a crowbar, I used a piece of wood, whatever I could to tamp that down. As you're adding backfill, I periodically just keep checking with my level, make sure I'm still level, add a bit more backfill, tamp it down, check if I'm level. As you can see here, I wasn't, so I had to correct it and then keep tamping. For this particular fence, before I put the panel back on, I actually had to dig out the dirt a little bit. The dirt was built up too high and you don't want the dirt too close to your wooden fence or else the water will wick up into your fence. I reattached the fence brackets to the uh, right hand side fence post, then I came over to the new post and then I need to mark where I'm going to put the brackets on that side. So put my level on there, look over the top, you see it wasn't level yet, so I needed to keep adjusting it until the fence uh, rail itself was level. Um, I needed to actually start digging away more of the dirt in order to get it level. After I reattached the fence brackets, I realized I made a mistake. that mess here. So I thought I'd be able to cut some of that off. Let's have a look. If you're re using an old different fence post, this just shows the importance of making sure it's tall enough. What I decided to do was try to cut off as much of that rotten stuff as I could without making the height differential between this post and the other side of the gate too, um, too noticeable. So I used my circular saw to cut it off the top there. And then stick a fence post cap on top. Is it super pretty? No, but let's see if it'll work. Good. Not wobbly. Nice and solid. So here's the finished product. As you can see, that fence post is higher. The one I just put in is unfortunately lower. I don't think it's too bad though because the actual street kind of slopes down like that, but 
We did what we intended to do. We fixed the wobbly fence post. So now let's talk about some warnings or cautions about using existing concrete footing. The first is that the old post rotted for a reason. So if you're putting a new post into your old hole, you could be facing the same situation. Hopefully you'll get at least a couple years out of your replacement post though. A problem with this hole is all that dirt above the concrete footing, all that dirt is gonna soak up the water when it rains, hold that moisture and lock it up against that post. Ideally, your concrete footing would be above ground level, sloping away from the post, like this footing on a different fence. But in this case, because I didn't want to pour new concrete, I had to make the most of what I had. And that meant digging the hole down deeper than it was before and adding some gravel to the bottom of the hole to allow for some better drainage. I completed this fencing project about a year ago, and the post is still holding up strong. So if you need to fix a wobbly fence post and you don't want to pour a new concrete footing, it is possible to reuse um, existing concrete footings. Just keep in mind the old post probably rotted for a reason and there's no guarantee on how long your new post will last in the hole. Thanks very much for watching and I hope this video was able to help you at least in some way. And if it did, please consider hitting that like button. Thanks again.